Welcome back to the Savage Nation. This is Jeff Cooner filling in for Michael Savage. Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano says the system worked great. The system worked perfectly. Well, if it worked so perfectly, explain to me why this man, Abdul Muttalib, was able to get on that plane completely undetected. And so the question I have for all of you out there, members of the Savage Nation, is should Janet Napolitano be fired? Should she hand in her resignation? I want to hear from you. And you know what's remarkable here? Is Obama yesterday came out, and in fact, apparently, he now says the system didn't work that well at all. It certainly wasn't perfect, according to Obama. Boys, roll clip 15. There were bits of information available within the intelligence community that could have and should have been pieced together. We've achieved much since 9-11 in terms of collecting information that relates to terrorists and potential terrorist attacks. But it's becoming clear that the system that has been in place for years now is not sufficiently up to date to take full advantage of the information we collect and the knowledge we have. In other words, blame Bush. That's, if you want to read the subtext of what he's saying, it's not his fault. It's not Janet Napolitano's fault. No, 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 no. It's back to what the liberals were saying throughout all of the Bush years. It's all George Bush's fault. And what I find remarkable here is the message that Obama is sending is this, that our intelligence system is completely broken, that our airline security system is in tatters. All this is going to do is embolden al-Qaeda and foreign jihadists to say, we have America on the run. We can now break her because she cannot even protect her skies. She cannot even protect her airplanes. This is going to invite even more terrorist attacks. And as this is going on, we have Janet Napolitano saying, don't worry, be happy. Everything is fine. The system worked. No, Janet, it didn't. And I want to hear from all of you. Do you think Janet Napolitano should be fired? This is Jeff Cooner sitting in for the living legend, Michael Savage, on the Savage Nation. This is Jeff Cooner from the Washington Times sitting in for Michael Savage on the Savage Nation. Go to michaelsavage.com. There are some absolute sizzling stories on the underwear bomber. And there is one story you have to read. It is on Janet Napolitano. Obama directly rebukes her. She says the system worked perfectly. He said it was full of systemic failures. That and so much more on michaelsavage.com. The number to call, 1-800-449-8255. Should jumping Janet Napolitano be fired? I want to hear from you. Let's go to John in New York. John, welcome to the Savage Nation. Thank you very much for taking my call. Jeff, you're doing a great job for Michael. Oh, thanks, Um, John. I do believe that uh, Napolitano should be uh, let go or fired. I don't think she deserves it. Why? uh, her slippery words that she used uh, in in the aftermath, or luckily there was no aftermath um, after the situation, I should say. It's uh, it doesn't show that she had much control over the situation or insight. Well, John, look, you're completely right. I mean, she obviously is. She's completely inept and incompetent. She comes out on Sunday on CNN State of the Union and she says the system worked perfectly. How did it work perfectly? Here you have a Nigerian terrorist who gets on board without even a passport, completely undetected. He comes on board. He penetrates all of our airline security defenses. My late mother-in-law, God bless her soul, my Italian mother-in-law, Bible in one hand, rosary in another hand. This woman couldn't hurt a fly. I remember one of the last trips we took her on before she passed away. She was stuck at airport security. They had a magnet meter, a magnetometer where they were detecting a sound in her crotch area. And so what they realized was it somehow her silk stockings, one of the uh, 
uh, what we call them, one of those things that you 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 you, you latch on. Uh, one, one somehow it was made of metal. They took the poor seventy-year-old woman into an adjoining room, into a security room. They stripped, searched her down to her underwear. This is what they do to a seventy-year-old Italian mother-in-law who never heard a fly in her life. But this guy, no problem. They don't strip search him. They don't. They don't even ask him for a passport. He's on a. The other thing that blows my mind away is this guy is on a terrorist watch list. He's on a terrorist watch list, but he's not on a no-fly list. Explain that one to me. So you can be a terrorist, but that means you can still fly, according to the logic of the Obama administration. And then when she's pounded, but even by the liberal press, even Matt Lauer, that liberal hack, that Clinton Obama loving hack, he has her on his show. And he says, how can the system have worked perfectly? We were 10 minutes away from the whole thing being blown up, the whole plane being blown up. Oh, no, the system failed miserably. So then jumping Janet goes to a completely different uh, uh, conclusion. And nobody bothers to say this woman is completely inept and incompetent. Let me give all of you a piece of Washington insider information. My sources close to the White House have confirmed this. Do you know who Obama's favorite cabinet secretary is? You think what? Maybe Joe Biden? Hillary Clinton? No, it's Janet Napolitano. There are now rumors on Capitol Hill that maybe a cabinet secretary is going to resign. You know who everybody thinks it is? You would think it'd be Janet Napolitano. Maybe tax cheat Tim Geithner. He may be the first to go. Obama has said he will never abandon Janet Napolitano because he agrees with her completely. The only way he will let her go, and remember, you heard it here first on the Savage Nation, Michael is always giving you guys exclusive scoops. Nobody is better at this than Dr. Savage. Well, let me try to give my small contribution. If there is a Supreme Court vacancy, Obama has let it be known he wants Janet Napolitano to be the next person to fill that seat. That's how much he loves her. You want to see the insanity of liberalism? This is it in all of its disgusting glory. Let's go to... Uh, Gary in Chicago. Gary, welcome to the Savage Nation. Hello, sir. Thank you for taking my call. Um, should be fired. There should be no questions asked. Fired. Um, the first, it was the right wing extremists that we had this year, and then we had uh, a Muslim shooting, and then we had um, the, the plane almost getting blown up by someone who's on a terrorist watch list, and she said everything works perfectly, and obviously it didn't, and it's it's compl absolute complete lunacy, which, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't see it ending anytime soon. You nailed it, Gary. It's not going to end anytime soon because it is the mindset. It is the virus, the dangerous, evil virus of political correctness. It is slowly paralyzing and destroying and eating away at our society. It is like a cancer. And you have Obama, who is the chief embodiment of that cancer. And so what we are now witnessing is the slow decay and disintegration of the United States as the world's superpower. Just stand back for a second. Just We are now essentially a year into Obama's presidency. We are now almost at the end of 2009, going into 2010. What have we seen all around us? In Tehran... The apocalyptic mullahs who now seek a nuclear bomb to wipe Israel off the map and eventually wipe the great Satan itself, America, off the map, has successfully crushed a pro-democracy student movement, and our commander-in-chief said nothing. We are losing the war in Iraq. We have now dangerously escalated the war in Afghanistan with no strategy for victory. We have now created another Vietnam right there in the Middle East, where this time it is not going to be the North Vietnamese that are going to beat us. It is going to be the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, where they are now going to claim a great victory for the Mujahideen and the forces of global jihad. We will be reduced to that of a paper tiger. And as this is going on, as he is now impoverishing us at home with runaway socialism and runaway government deficits, as we are now slowly gutting our military, 
we can't even protect our southern border. Intelligence sources have told me, and elsewhere, Hezbollah has penetrated our southern border. They are finding not dozens, thousands of copies of the Quran along the Arizona-Texas-Mexico border. They have rugs that they've brought across. They're even praying as they cross our, our border. This man can't enforce our borders. He is now slowly bankrupting us. And everywhere we look, we are in retreat on the world stage. And here on American soil, you have the Fort Hood massacre, 13 dead, 30 wounded, a major in the U.S. Army. And what does Obama do? On the day of the Fort Hood massacre, he goes at a tribal nations conference and gives a shout out to people in the room. My friends, we don't have a commander in chief.